In this tutorial, we're going to learn the basics required for building model flow sheets. Adding an element is simple. Select the Configure toolbar and locate the element you want to place in your flow sheet using the mouse cursor tips to guide you. When you've found the desired element, click on it once and move your cursor to the drawing board area. Note that your cursor appearance has changed to indicate you are in drawing mode. The plus sign of the drawing cursor is where the center of the flow sheet element will be placed. When you have moved your cursor to where you want the element placed, click once on the drawing board. Notice that the cursor stays in drawing mode until we tell bio and otherwise. If we want to add more elements of this type, we simply click elsewhere on the drawing board. So we probably don't want to double click because that will place two elements right next to each other. To exit drawing mode, click the selection tool on the configure toolbar or press the escape key on your keyboard. To select an element on the drawing board, simply click on it with the mouse. When you've selected an element, four element selection handles will be displayed around the element. To deselect an element, simply click on a blank drawing board area. There are two ways to select multiple elements. You can select multiple elements by dragging with the mouse. Click and drag the mouse around the elements you wish to select. The second way is to hold the shift key on your keyboard and click individual flow sheet elements. To delete an element, select the element by clicking on it, right click, and choose delete from the pop-up menu. Or select the element and press the delete key on your keyboard. To move an element, click on it to select and then drag the element to the desired new position. To move multiple elements, first select the element group and then drag the group to the desired new position. Note that if the elements are connected by pipes, the pipes follow the elements. To copy an element, click on it to select, and then while holding the control key on your keyboard, drag the element outline to the desired position of the copy. You can also select multiple elements and make copies of them by holding the control key and dragging. Note that only the element names are not copied. All other information, volume, depth, operating modes, time varying patterns you may have input, are all copied. You may want to change the orientation of an element depending on the direction of flow. Some elements can be flipped both horizontally or vertically. Others can only be flipped horizontally. To flip an element, select it, then right click and choose the orientation you want to flip. Note that if a pipe is attached to an element that you flip, it stays attached to the input or output it was originally attached to. So you may have to change the orientation of the pipe by clicking on its arrowhead and dragging to change the position. We'll learn more on how to do this in other tutorials. This concludes our tutorial on the basic skills for building model flow sheets. Please see our video library for other tutorials to help you become more productive with BioWin.